Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today I'm going to show you how to make a basic cream cheese and a delicious cream cheese spread from that very same cream cheese. Because it's the all-free Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. So what you're gonna need to make this recipe is our yogurt from one of our previous shows. So you're gonna have to make that yogurt first. So that's what I have here. And this is just the plain flavor. So uh, we're just going to drain our yogurt because that's what's gonna make the cream cheese. We have to drain the liquid out of this. So I have two cups of yogurt. And this is just a regular coffee filter and I put it in a, uh, a wire strainer just to hold it off of the bowl so that the liquid can come down into the bowl and not be, you know, so the strainer's not sitting in the liquid. So anything you can get so that you can put this, this type of a strainer with a coffee filter in it over something so it, the liquid can drip out without, sitting, without it sitting in it, that would be great. So we're just gonna put this in the refrigerator. And what I like to do, I just put it in there overnight and let it totally drain out. Otherwise it takes about maybe four or five hours for it to completely drain out and to be thick enough to use for our cream cheese spread that we're gonna make. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to invite you to click the subscribe button and then the little bell notification so that you can get notified every time we put out a new show here on YouTube. Be sure to check out our growing line of printable cookbooks guides, and apparel. We also offer free and paid memberships on our community website. And last but not least, be sure to head over to our official website at plantbasedcookingshow.com to browse through hundreds of original recipes, tips, and resources on plant-based living. Okay, back to the show. All right, so now we've taken our cream cheese out of the refrigerator and all of the liquid has drained out. So now we're just gonna put it in a bowl I'm gonna scrape it out of this coffee filter. And if you can see that, all of the liquid is drained out and it's nice and thick, just like, just like regular cream cheese. Okay, so our ingredients here, we're gonna do a teaspoon, or you know, maybe a half to a teaspoon of mustard. And you can use any mustard that you choose. I just happen to like the whole grain type of mustard. One teaspoon of Bragg's liquid amino acids. And if you don't have Bragg's liquid amino acids, you can also use uh, tamari or uh, like a light sodium soy sauce. We're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of pepper. some onion powder. We're gonna use about a half of a teaspoon of onion powder. Just about a teaspoon or so of lemon juice, a good squirt of it in there. And then we're gonna use two tablespoons of chives. And you could eat this cream cheese just plain, just like that, or maybe with just a little bit of lemon juice in it, if you like just the original flavor. But this is a blend that my daughter Talia came up with, and it is amazingly delicious. So we just stick with this one. And it's great for spreading on toast or crackers. It's great to dip your vegetables in. It's just really, it's a really versatile, type of cream cheese, or you can just have it the regular way on a bagel. I happen to have some of my gluten-free bread, uh, which I will link to the show below for that recipe. But we're just gonna spread a little bit of this on my bread. So now we get to taste this guy. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so delicious. You guys have got to check this out. Mm. Try this recipe. You're gonna fall in love with it just like I have. And I'll see you next time.